what's crack it's Vangelina Scov. Today we're talking about something that I don't know why I'm talking about it, I don't want to talk about it, I don't know what drove me to talk about this, but we're talking about it anyway because I feel like I have to and I kind of want to, but I also don't want to. See the problem? We're already off to a wonderful start with my rambling. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Jake Paul, who is somebody that I have never really followed. I haven't followed his dramas, I haven't followed his videos, I haven't followed his life. I just generally am not in the same circles media intake wise and I just kind of don't care. But I came across some of his recent videos, including his most recent video as I'm recording this, and I don't understand what he's doing and it's a bit weird. So before I actually explain what's going on, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. I do upload mostly every day and I go live sometimes, so do that. It is worth it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say it outright. Jake Paul makes videos for kids. He does. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, legally there might be because of the whole COPPA thing, but morally there's nothing wrong with making videos for kids unless you're doing it the way that he does it. <laughs> I mean, this is nothing new. The videos that he's made for a long time have been very questionable. They've appealed to a younger audience. He's admitted that younger people watch his videos, yet he still slips in a little bit of more adult content here and there. And every now and again he gets in trouble for it, but most of the time he kind of gets away with it. And I'm of the opinion that it is the parents' job to monitor what their kids are watching, but I also think that what he's doing at this very moment is extremely irresponsible and selfish and stupid. And you guys know me, I don't generally say bad things about people, and I'm sure he's not actually a bad person, but I think what he's doing is stupid. Not who he is, just what he's doing right now. Okay, so if you don't know what's going on, you're probably very confused as to what I'm talking about since he's always made sort of edgy content, but still for kids. Well, his most recent video is titled Surprising Best Friend with Riley Reed Striptease. And no, it's not clickbait. He does actually do that. Of course it's scripted and planned and acted out, but he does actually do that and put it on camera. Now I can't show you any of the video because I will get age restricted or demonetized or anything and half my videos get demonetized anyway, so <laughs> I'd like to avoid it where I can. But basically, Riley Reed in her underwear gives his friend a striptease. There's there's no other way to, <laughs> to explain that. I'll link the video in the description maybe if I remember to do that. If I don't remember to do that, you just search Jake Paul, it's gonna come up if you want to see that. It's a bit weird. Now look, I'm not some kind of prude or something that's against all of this in any way, shape, or form. I am against it though when you know that your audience is made up of predominantly children. And that's not a guess. He's said that. And he has his analytics. You can see in your analytics the age range of people that watch your videos. For example, the majority of people who watch mine, I believe, are between 18 to 24. And beyond that, it's generally older people who watch my videos. But for him, he said kids watch his videos, he knows kids watch his videos, and he's still doing this and showing this to children. Now, I have a couple of theories as to why he's doing this and making his videos more extreme. For example, that was his last video. But some of his videos before that were my ex-wife hooked up with my girlfriend, things get sexual with Riley Reed, and one video cryptically called Rated Or. So it's not just this one video. Things have been getting more and more adult in his content. So why could he be doing this? One of the reasons is that COPPA has come into effect. And if your video is marked as made for children, I'm pretty sure you don't get that much revenue from it, although you still do get some limited ads. You can't have comments on your video and you can't have the mini screen thing on your video. And some people have said that you can't get notifications for videos that are made for kids. So he could be trying to adult up his content so that the YouTube system doesn't flag his videos as made for children, which with videos like this, they really wouldn't. Now, the only problem that I can see with him doing that is that if he really wanted to get all the kids off of his videos, he would lose a lot of his viewers, which is something that I'm guessing from the way that he talks about success and making money and the YouTube grind, he doesn't want to do. So he's not really going to put up a video that he doesn't think is going to do well and that he doesn't think will get clicks. So in saying that, it is possible that he's uploading these videos with these very clickbaity titles 
that might appeal to some older children, even though they shouldn't, but they will. Kids are curious. And if they see something like that, they're probably going to click on it. That's just the fact of the matter. And he said it himself before. He feels like every video he does has to be better than the last video or has to be more extreme than the last video and has to get more clicks than the last video. So it's definitely possible that what he's doing right now is just trying to one-up himself and make bigger and better videos that are more clickable and more extreme and more controversial. The thing is though, he doesn't have to be doing one of these two options. He could be doing both of them. By doing this sort of content, he's kind of killing two birds with one stone. He's removing his chances of getting flagged as made for children and losing a lot of his revenue, but he's still getting his young audience to click on his videos and give him those views. The thing is though, if that is the case, which I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it's possible, it's kind of backfired a little bit. That striptease video was age restricted and when I went in to check out what it was, I had to click that I wish to proceed with this content. Now to my knowledge, if you have a YouTube account, you have to put your date of birth in. And if you're under the age of 18, you will not be able to watch these videos. But there are ways around that. You can just make an account that says you're older. You can just sign in without an account. <laughs> it's not impossible to watch the video. And I know because I had to do that for a Marilyn Manson music video when I was a teenager, which is really weird to have to do that. I remember watching it and thinking, this is not that extreme. <laughs> Why is it age restricted? But all I had to do was go incognito and watch the video without an account. But there are still some younger kids who won't really figure that out and won't watch the video, which is good. And it means he's gonna lose some of that sweet, sweet ad revenue. If he does have any ad revenue in that video, I think he might not. <laughs> and if he doesn't, that's a double backfire on him. So it seems like what he's doing is trying to find the right balance here between adult content that won't get flagged as made for kids, but will still let kids click on it and be interested in it, but also won't get age restricted and demonetized. And I think the more that he does this stuff, the more he's going to figure it out, which in my opinion, is not a good thing. But I can't stop him. You can't stop him either. Nobody can stop him. He's just gonna do this. So I guess we can just talk about it and complain a little bit and analyze him. And that's as far as we can go with that. Bit of a weird conclusion to come to, but it's really the only conclusion that I can think of. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me for now. I don't feel like talking about this anymore. <laughs> And as I said earlier, you can please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload. You can also follow me on social media and like, comment, share, do all the things I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of the video and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.